Look at him. He's going to be a great mother. Even though he's a murdering psychopath? That is all behind him now, Julian. The baby has set him on the right path. Yeah, I hope you're right. As far as I can tell, he's still the biggest nut in the jar. If you're wrong and he kills again, it'll be our fault for not turning him in. Isn't that lovely? He's really bonding with your son. He truly is my son. What? I don't care. I want absolute proof that that child is mine. And if it is not, it's going to change everything. I know you're embarrassed to be the father of that child. But don't blame yourself, Julian. You didn't know that Valerie and Vincent were the same person. You're missing the point. Vincent controlled the entire situation from the beginning. As Valerie, he seduced me, his own father. Now, don't you think that's evidence of a truly sick mind? Yes. But I can't really blame Vincent. He's the product of years and years of horrible abuse. <sighs> Your father warped his mind, Julian. He tortured him emotionally and physically, probably just for his own entertainment. Alistair is the devil. My father has done abominable things, but there is a point in life where one has to stand on one's own two feet. Well, that is easy for you to say. Alistair abused you, and you found the strength to stand up for yourself. Vincent has been abused since he was an infant. And it's probably too late to make up for it, but I am going to spend the rest of my life showing him that I love him. He's just going to throw his arms around you and say all is forgiven. Maybe. He seems to want to turn over a new leaf. Mm. Oh, Vincent, what is that? Is that a picture? What is that picture of? Well, show us, Vincent. What's the picture of? Uh, sorry, Daddy. It wasn't a picture. It was a list of all the things that I want to do for my son during my lifetime. It's very special and very private. Oh, is that something you've been working on for a while? Oh, yes, for months now. <laughs> oh, Julian, isn't that sweet? <laughs> yes, very. But if you'll excuse me, I'm very tired. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, of course you are. You just had a baby. <laughs> Don't you worry about anything. Go upstairs and rest as much as you want. Come on. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 that's not necessary. I can go by myself. Uh, but would you and Daddy mind watching the baby? Well, will we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come here. Oh, honey. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> this certainly isn't how I pictured the birth of my grandson. Oh, hush. My grandson is also... My son, what do I do? Buy him a cigar or throw him a baby shower? Look at him sleeping. How sweet, how innocent. Won't hmm. oh, last long in a year or two. He'll be a real little hellion. Well, you know, that depends on, on how he's raised. A baby is like a blank canvas. With any luck, he would turn into a strong, honorable man, but with the wrong upbringing, any child's gifts could be corrupted or destroyed. I mean, think about what your father did to our son. He took a completely innocent baby and just perverted its entire life. Well, there's not much we can do about that now. Oh, yes, there is. Vincent's different now because of the baby. He's discovered what love means, and that means that I can protect him now the way that I couldn't when he was stolen from us. What are you talking about? Julian, would you be all right here with the baby? I, I want to go to the hospital and get a, a, a DNA kit. 
Well, can't we just use uh, like a Q-tip and a, a little plastic bag? Uh, certainly not. I mean, not if you want official results. You should sleep for hours. All right, we'll hurry back. Okay, I will. Not before I kill Alistair. 